Hello and welcome to What's Bubbling is in the Roll. In this uh, bubbling, we're going to take a look at our chatbot. Yes, so let's go there now. Here's the Zim site, and you can get to the chatbot by clicking on that little chatbot there. And uh, there she be. So ask questions about Zim. Answers are about 80% right. Other 20% can be misleading. That was from our testing. Uh, we are also going to let you rate the answers down below here. So please do that. <clears throat> that would be good. And thank you very much for Suha for setting that up. I, I teach interactive media at Sheridan. Suha was one of our graduates who went on to doing AI or uh, machine learning at York University. And this was uh, their project. Um, so that's that's great. Uh, let's take a look and see what that project looks like. Well, okay, wait, wait a minute. Before we go in to look at the project, why don't we try it out here? So, uh, please make make a circle in the Zim template. Um, that's optional. And so I'm going to submit the prompt here. Uh, the optional bit is please use the template. And let's see. Uh, sure enough, there's the Zim template. It's Zim017. Good. And there's the circle. Yeah. It did it. Oh my God. So that's amazing. Uh, we can therefore say, yeah, that was good. Great question. Well done. Um, okay. So if we didn't ask it in circle, uh, just make a circle. Let's uh, make a, how about a red circle? Uh, 100 radius. Radius. Um, okay, good enough and hit submit prompt so it is a chat there it is and this time it didn't bother with the um with the, the template it didn't use a zim red so that's kind of too bad but so be it um and note that our last chat is up there we could although we haven't implemented it uh, we could make it so that it remembers what it last answered and you can build upon there I'm not totally sure that would be advantageous. Maybe it would be, and it might be something that we'll look into for version two of our chatbot. Uh, we did experiment with it a little bit and just decided at the time to simplify things and make it so that each question is separate. But there's first question right there in green. Here's the next question here, and, and then the answer for each of them. Okay, uh, great, and you can clear the chat. At that so this is a zim interface into a hugging space interface so let me show you that right here so here's the chat bot which has been set up on hugging face and we have our own space there and there's the chat bot working at this location too but what we've done is, is this chat bot provides can't remember where it is use the api so here is the python api but we want the javascript api it allows us to interface with that using and so we've done that with node so we built a node front end here and put it on the same server as our forum because uh, that's a separate server that we have where, where Node is running. It's also running our socket server there, etc. And so we put it on there. That was a lot of fun to kind of get that set up. Um, so this is the Zim version right here. And Hugging Face is here. Oh, um, Hugging Face is here. And I wanted to show you, that's the app under Files here. I don't know if you get to see the files. I think perhaps I'm logged in and maybe you don't get to see the files. But here are the files that Suha has put together, the Python files right there. There's also data sets, which we worked on together. And this data set is quite large, 10 megabytes. So let me show you it here. Here it is. Basically, we have how many questions? About a thousand, looks like. Yeah, about a thousand questions, all from different places. And I don't know if you noticed that, but when we are back in Zim and it answers, it says, here are the references that we use, the circle, the poly, and that. You can press any of those to actually go out and see the references. Uh, looks like slightly different references, um, depending. So what we've done is we're creating a better prompt 
by pre-filtering the, um, the original prompt comes here and finds which three examples are the best examples according to um, uh, Python search criteria in a sense. And then it feeds those three examples. So here are the examples. Feeds those three examples in the prompt to ChatGPT saying, using these three examples, um, answer this question. Because when it goes just to ChatGPT, it was, it was dreadful. It was more like 2% right and 98% wrong. So we worked on that. Um, all those examples too are, uh, we didn't actually feed it a thousand examples, but rather, for instance, here's an example. There's the docs of the circle, so we, we fed it docs. We also fed it um, code from the editor. So the docs are all up to date. The editor, <laughs> I was gonna say the editor are all up to date and then arrived at this one. And for some reason we've got vars in here. Uh, I thought we were all ES6 on everything we used. Which one is this? This is a damping example uh, and uh, it must, it, it didn't have the vars, so <laughs> bad example. Um, we really thought that we had fed everything in. Uh, let's see, uh, catch another one here. Uh, where am I? How about this one? Okay, yeah, these are const, and it will be all this stuff uses the current um, template as well. So it's adding the current template into into all these examples. So uh, for the most part, we're pretty good there. Yay! Um, that is uh, What's Bubbling with Zim about the chatbot. Try it out. Let us know. We somewhere, where was it? It was in the updates. That's it. So if you go to Zim and hit Docs and then hit Updates right there, we can read about the update on the chatbot. So there's extra information about it. And there's Suha's link as well to LinkedIn. Um, she would be an excellent person to work on things like this. She was great, um, handled everything very professionally, very easy. One of the easiest person people that I've uh, worked with. So um, that would be cool. Here's our statement on AI. <laughs> I don't know, do we need a statement on AI? It, it morphed a little bit. We love coding and would much rather code than have AI code. We love creating, which is the process from idea to the product. So like you come up with the idea and then to the final product or service. Um, so that's the creative process. Uh, how much of this is AI is up to you and your situation. We would feel sad if people just use AI and do not code. So I would feel quite sad if people just tried to code with AI and if that's the way the world goes and we lose coding, much like, I don't know, <laughs> much like what? Have we lost anything else? Uh, anyway, initially we considered saying that using AI is like eating without tasting. You know, you get the, the final thing. I, great, I'm now full. I've been satisfied, but I didn't even taste anything. I didn't enjoy the process in, in a sense. Uh, but if there's no expression in coding, as in if it can be automated and that ex there is no actual expression in coding, then perhaps we should let it let it go and concentrate on things that we can do use expression in, like ideas and friends and life, etc. Um, still, many like to cook, even though we can just buy meals. Okay, so if you like coding, then code. <laughs> so in the end, we were going to say we'd be really, you know, really sad. And, you know, don't do it, but uh, code if you want. Use AI if you want. There, there's our <laughs> statement on AI. Uh, it's compounded slightly in the, by the fact that I'm a teacher. So uh, as a professor, I have to sort of deal with, uh, hey, you know, I'm teaching the students how to use, how to make things with Zim. And now there's an AI for that. We did run into difficulties though with, without the Zim chat bot here, uh, without this bot, if you try just raw, uh, chat GPT, it often refers to CreateJS, which is, it, it refers to things that are like 10 years old. And it was like, why is it doing that? Oh, that's awful. So we had to do something because that was really confusing. <laughs> it made it easy for us to spot which uh, students were using AI for their code. It's like, well, why did you make a new CreateJS stage? A stage is automatically made with the same frame. You, know, you don't need to do that. <laughs> 
Um, but now we have a better better product. However, it can still be tricky. Like I said, that 20% that it gets wrong, it's like, you just made that method up. That method doesn't exist. Why did you do that? Uh, we have tried things like making Pong games and, you know, that, like bigger projects in it. Uh, but we like to hear uh, what you think. Um, making a Pong game is almost solely, like that That was done in raw canvas. It's almost solely just JavaScript, like just coding. And, you know, you have to make a circle and <laughs> two rectangles. That's about all Zim is really giving you in a Pong game. It's just, oh, we can easily make a circle and a rectangle. The rest is almost all uh, mathematical, uh, light mathematical coding. Um, there might be a few other things that Zim gives you on a Pong game, but uh, it's kind of like a bad, a bad example of what to ask the AI as far as I'm concerned. Okay, there you go. So that's a bubbling on Zim. I am Dr. Abstract. Once again, you can get to the AI chatbot by hitting the chatbot. At the moment, that's pretty prominent. We've got that up there. Um, if uh, for some reason in the future you're watching this and this banner isn't here anymore because we've moved on to Zim018, we'll probably at that point locate the chat bot somewhere, perhaps along the top here or whatever, so look for it there. Or you can always find it by going to Zim017. It happens to be a new feature right there, so that'll also get you to the chat bot. Okay, cheers! Uh, come find us at, uh, speaking of Discord and forum, come find us there. We'd love to help out and we'd love to hear what you're thinking. Uh, people have been asking about chatbots for quite some time on the forum. And even before we had the forum, they were asking about those kinds of things back on our Slack channel and stuff like that. So here it is, uh, officially supported. Woohoo! Okay, take it easy. I am Dr. Abstract for What's Bubbling at Zim. Have a great day or night. Cheers.